What's up everybody, it's Travis Moody here for a Toy Kind of Move with another ranking video. This time we are ranking the most recent G.I. Joe classified Yo Joes. That's right, Yo Joe. It's G.I. Joe, the good guys. And I got them all here ranked in order. Crazy, because 67 to 109, and these are the most recent Joes. Yeah, distribution is a thing. We'll talk to you in one sec. This is reuse, 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 repaint, repaint, repaint. Right away, you can see that the sword is bent to smithereens. Yeah, it's very gummy. Uh, it's this uh, horrifically rubbery Arashikage sword that we had from Zero to Snake Eyes, which is most of the reuse here. Um, and I'd again, just like my Cobra Eel, I had a big problem with the backpack peg. Um, it just would not fit in snug. I kind of went back to my O2, and I kind of had a similar issue with that one as well. Doesn't seem like they learn their lesson too much. So, yeah, it's um, becoming quite a thing. But as you can see right there, it's almost one-to-one -one other than the paint. I mean, even the sheath is warped there. Crazy. Um, you know, there is a different hand. Actually, the Arashikage sword is in his hand, and I got it in the sheath there. So um, that might be a slightly different comparison. But as you can see, on the torso, it's the same. Legs, we got our our belts is the same. I like what they did. They kept the Arashikage. They made it, made it more faded on Desert Commando. Um, of course, the apparent thing is, and if you're wondering, that's the face sculpt that came with the Zartan uh, Deluxe Pack. And yeah, the grenade bandolier is the same. I mean, you're just getting reuse all the way. It's a, it's a straight-up repaint. That's a great iron gun. So I got some different things going on. One thing I should point out really quickly is the knife sheath. Um, they improved that. As you can see, that knife couldn't even fit in. See, face sculpt is the same. So pretty cool way to kit bash. You know, it's a fun way for reuse. As you can see, there's an added um, cool little logo there. Looks, you know, kind of like Timber Desert, if you will. Uh, desert logo insignia. Real cool. I like it. Maybe Lenny got this. Lenny and the gang got this as inspiration from the 2004 yeah, version 21 Snake Eyes Valor vs. Venom. Um, I think it was in the Desert Patrol Squad six pack. But I gotta go three and a half out of five whiskeys, which is a seven out of ten. You know, it's good. It's good, and you don't need it if it doesn't match what you need. I mean, maybe one of the bigger problems here. And then shout out to Kyle Peterson. He compared these two, and I'm like, yeah, that doesn't. That's not going <laughs> together at all. A desert tan is so different. Of course, I hooked him up with all gridiron gear. Uh, but yeah, that, I don't know. It, it, this, this is what they were going for to have them team up with Dusty out in the sands in the desert. It's not working for me, but, uh, otherwise decent figure. All right. Next up we have Parth Wolf Spider Varma, part of Night Force. I did a full review on this 20 minutes long, went super in depth. I was one of the lucky ones to get this among, be, be among the first to review this on the webs, on the YouTube, so go check that out. He ranks at number six, four out of five whiskeys. So this is where the fun begins. Might be a bit of surprise at number five, right? We got Tunnel Rat. His name is Nikki Lee. Now, I asked this question uh, on some previous shows, uh, recent shows, and I'm like, why are the names on some of the boxes, like Parth Vama? And why are some of the names like, you know, like Robert Graves for Grunt? Uh, and then Tunnel Rat doesn't say Nikki Lee. I'm interested in, let me know in the comments why you think, you know, like Snow Job and some of these other ones don't have names on the boxes and then some do. I'm really interested in that. I would love to ask the Hasbro team, uh, Emily and Lenny, that very question, but uh, right away, you know, this is a, a fan favorite. Right away, the aesthetics of it are tremendous. I mean, you just look at this thing and it's like instantly a five out of five tunnel rat. And then, you know, the fact that you can stand him and he's shorter in scale. It's just that's 
that's the best part, right? The fact that they went scale with it. So just tremendous. But here's the here's the issue, my buddy Nikki, is these secondaries. We showed this off on a recent stream. Go check it out. We did uh, an unboxing of all these and in, in reviews with Apathy. But yeah, just there's a lot going on. If you watch previous reviews like uh, Punk with Toys and whatever, there's there's some people out there shortening the bullet bandolier. I mean, this handkerchief is way too big. Thankfully, you know, the backpack kind of ties everything in a little bit, um, especially once you put the satchel on that is also just way too big. I would have changed the the weapon scheme up. I mean, this M60 is massive. It is rock and rolls. I mean, a little guy like Tunnel Rat. Yeah, sure. Did he have a long range machine gun like this? Sure. You know, it was the Vietnam days and everything, but I love what they did with everything else. Right. I mean, we got the, the, the goggles, you know, the, the flashlight, everything me totally metal gear solid. Of course that comes off. He looks great with, or without the goggles and they can fit in all the way. They're not functional. Um, you know, they don't flip up kind of like fireflies. You know, you either have them kind of hanging on the top of his head or, or they're on. They're not, you know, there's no, um, there's no articulation there. But uh, love the insignia. <laughs> Rat with a flashlight. But yeah, I mean, they added, you know, regular nice, you know, Timberland boots some knee pads to give them a little more um, color, you know, going down on the legs rather than some crazy moccasin, moccasin looking shoes and kind of just regular black pants. So um, overall, the deco is gorgeous. The tattoo or paintwork, whatever you want to call it, it's awesome on the face and the forearms and everything. I mean, all the way through, it, I mean, it's great. You know, the knapsack even has a little bit of paint to it. Um, you know, face scan is amazing, whether it looks like Hammer or not, whatever. It's pretty dope. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, other than that, I think just kind of having to work all this out, it's it's pretty great. Um, I know I'm being a little harsh on it, but overall, I'm going to go 4.25 out of 5. Aesthetics, look, sculpt, 5. Functionality, it's a little less, so... Um, but man, Tunnel Rat is cool. All right, coming in at number four is our second Night Force character on the list. It's a Walmart exclusive. It is David Bennett, a.k.a. Big Ben. Um, yeah, box is cool. Looking dope. Uh, never thought I would be such a Big Ben fan. Never, never cared for the character or knew much about him. Didn't watch Deke as a kid. Minuses, okay. There's right away, there's no backpack, so... You know, when it's uh, Walmart exclusives, they're going to make a little bit uh, shortcuts and cost, you know, cutting effective moves and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I would have gave this dude some grenades, a backpack. I love storing all the weapons, especially when he's got, you know, these kind of weapons that are just massive. Right. So these guns are looking good. You know, you got the SIG LMG, the X250, it's got the the bipod and everything, and then you get your AR-15, double barrel, you know, with the Gilboa snake, and, um, you know, even underneath here, you get, you know, it's it's not quite a pistol, it's a Mac 11, you get the, you know, it even has the extended mag and suppressor and everything, so, um, yeah, dig, digging what they're doing with the weapons on this guy among among the best weapons right i mean these are these are good and they actually weren't uh warped out of the pack you get you know the british flag there and then you got kind of like the whole what is it sos sas kind of thing that the re sas logo but they're making like their own you know night force version so just outstanding modern deco on the upper torso with a bullet belt and the Joe Pro and everything. Face sculpt is great. The first one, I believe, you can pop up the whole neck, as you can see here, and we'll replace it with the gas mask. And uh, this is cool. I mean, if you're into like Black Ops and Call of Duty and Battlefield, I mean, this is, this is awesome. 
and it's badass and uh it really really makes up for not having the backpack and whatnot this is a tremendous figure i guess the only bad thing about it is that it's a walmart exclusive and they're already there's already been a delay i believe uh on the site and whatnot but look overall it's dope one of the best yet 4.25 dash four and a half almost elite you know a backpack couple grenades but um you don't get as many things, you know, you get three nice guns, um, and you do get the additional face sculpt, which is good value for $24.99, but not super value. So overall, he's pretty great. Love me some Big Ben. All right, it's top three time coming in at number three. It is low light. It is Cooper G. McBride. Guess they didn't have room on the box to put that long ass name. Um, look, I'm not the biggest low light fan. He's a uh, <laughs> he's just kind of low key by design, right? I mean, very he's a very plain figure to begin with, but I think a lot of fans are in love with him because of that. So that's both a minus and a plus. I mean, he's let's face it, Cooper here is one to one. I mean, nearly one to one with the OG, a perfect one twelve scale version of this classic figure um the only thing touched upon here in some of the reviews my bud's been doing comparing their ogs i mean we had app on and, and apathy's favorite was low light and he brought it on and we noticed that um the boots are a little different we're getting that vinyl here to match what's in the forearm rather than kind of like the silver and, and whatnot what we got but uh as you can see there the stock is is bent I mean, I don't even think this gun had cardboard. It was just thrown in a bag, which is crazy. The parts were already inside the case, which we'll get into in one sec. Um, we could pop off the binoculars. And in hand, I mean, hopefully you could tell here by the HD video, but in hand, this is a very good face sculpt. The point is he's supposed to be sleepless. An insomniac. He's a man of the night. He's a night sniper, right? Night spotter, whatever. Um, so I'm digging it. The goggles are pretty functional and fit over the the sock cap or night cap, whatever you want to call it. Look at all the detail on the backpack. A little more paint apps would have gone a long way, but that said, it's nice. Um, this gun's okay. I don't see too many people using it with the sniper, but uh, you know, it's kind of one of those GI Joe guns where you mash up two or three things to get it um this is a lot for it to carry but i guess if if he's up in the towers he's up in the trees he's up in the buildings he could probably carry these you know he's not like he's running or anything so i'm, I'm okay with that that's cool we get the case and it fits really snug really snug to the point where i'm like do i even want to pull this apart so i have had so many issues with backpacks and whatnot and this is by far the most snug thing go figure right but uh all right let's pop that off hopefully and just <laughs> snap up my goodness gracious uh yeah let's see if i can open this case there's nothing in it so nothing should fly out he's got the full i'm probably doing this wrong all right here we go but yes yeah, so much detail in the case um it, it it's tremendous it really is tremendous um you know you got like kind of mag pouches and all kind of things you know He's, he spends a lot of time alone, so he's probably got a lot of reading materials or maybe a tablet in there or whatever. Like, who knows what's in those. But, yeah, just look at all the all the cool detail we got. Just really nice, you know. They didn't take any shortcuts with this case, that's for sure. As far as the figure, you know, I don't want to go too crazy. You've seen other reviews, but, uh, you know, he's got kind of like that wind instrument um, a little more detail on that would have been, it's just very plain, maybe, uh, paint apps, maybe the details fine, but maybe some additional paint apps on that, uh, thing, but I guess it is, uh, authentic, but yeah, as you can see, the stock is pretty weak, but overall, I like the sniper rifle. I mean, the, the level of guns that Hasbro is doing compared to before is tremendous. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, you know, I mean, this is, I'm digging it. I really, I really am digging the functionality of everything, which is key. You know, we can look at something and it's pretty, but then we could just be reviewing McFarlane toys too, because those are all pretty. But we're we're here for uh, 
you know, articulation and, 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 and it, things beyond detail. But as far as detail, he's simple from far away, but up close, they've nailed everything down to his original. And maybe that's the thing. They didn't really take, I feel like maybe they didn't take any risks. Maybe they didn't have to. This guy's been classified since the eighties. So why not? Right. Um, I don't know. Overall, you know, the weapon is, is straighter and sturdier than mostly everything else we're getting. And the double jointed elbows that we have here allow for some nice posing and sniping. And, and uh, yeah, I, I went from not caring much about getting this figure to loving it so much that I'm going to go four and a half whiskeys for low light. Could have easily been Number one, one of the best G.I. Joe Joes in the Classified series we've gotten for a while, and that's Robert the Grunt Graves. It is an ultimate army builder because it not only is it a famous OG-13 character, I mean, he is Jerry West of G.I. Joe, if you know what I'm saying. He is the logo, um, and it's a great figure. It really is. I, I just, I love almost, almost everything about this figure. The one thing is a, it's an army builder. And you can see his name, his insignia right there, E4 Grave. So look, you can get a Q-tip, a little bit of paint thinner. Hopefully you're not sloppy. Looks like I might have a paint problem on the nose, but that could also be just some detail. So that's, yeah, I don't know. He's got a zit going on there, so... Uh, maybe it's supposed to be that way. Uh, otherwise, you know, really cool. This M16 is warped like many others. It isn't the best. Thankfully, we got a replacement weapon that's better. I know the barrel is a little small and some people aren't thrilled with the scope on top of the handle, but I've seen gridiron and marauders do that with those as well. So, um, you know, looking good, but yeah, it's a, it's a little a little warped. So not not the best. Thankfully, we got ourselves an XMLR. That's right, the Sunbow laser rifle, and we need more of these. So it was brilliant to include this into a would be army builder. Now, how is Mister Graves an army builder, if you will? Of course, we have this Vietnam inspired hat uh, from Retro Roadblock there. Uh, roadblock deluxe that uh but look yeah, he's got kind of some markings on his face so maybe that's supposed to be there i don't know i gotta check out some other images and whatever but love in the face sculpt as many have claimed it is a far cry from the falcon trash that we got so um and here we go here's army builder time and it is the steel core helmet he's uh master chief certified halo who would have thought that grunt would be one of the best in the classified line but everything else is absolutely terrific you know from the amazing army deco to the laser rifle to the halo helmet it is almost a five if not for this silly warped gun and the fact that there's no you know way to change that in, um nameplate of course he has his nintendo switch here and it doesn't look like he he even uh, it looks like pretty broken. He's gonna have to send that back to Japan and get another one. But uh, no, pretty cool. You can actually take that off. I don't want to mess with it too much. But yeah, there's a lot of playability, a lot more detail than you think in this character. Just looking all the way around, little uh, you know dents and vinyl changes to the uniform and his mag pouches and rations and everything. He he's amazing. So I'm gonna go four point. 75-5, nearly perfect, is my dude Grunt. And the number one G.I. Joe classified Joe is Snow Job. Harlan W. Moore, again, another long name they probably didn't want to put on the box. I don't know, you talk to me, will ya? But uh, Snow Job, very, very, very few minuses, other than the fact we didn't get an XMLR with Snow Job, who's mostly known for having the laser rifle. So getting that second, third grunt, he's gonna have one. That's how that's the that's the rifle I'm using with this one. Just because we have so many dang nabbit sniper rifles, but 
Here's my dude, Harlan. Um, you know, it might have been nice to include an ice pick or a grapple hook. I have a little bit of a bobblehead, as you can see. Just from holding them up. It's a little... Yeah, that's, that's like a QC thing, though. I don't want to, like... You know, it, it's unfortunate, but I don't want to really put that against them. Yeah, it's a little bit of a bobblehead with the neck there. It's not quite all the way in. Um, yeah, I don't know, but... I mean, look, that wasn't, that's not everyone's getting that. That's not, that's not their fault. We get the nice Robert Redford <laughs> face sculpt, uh, as my dude app called. But really, overall, the browns, this tannish brown, really pops on this character that was traditionally all white with little black. So the added blacks, added browns, really giving this guy life. That head sculpt is just on another level. Um, better yet. You can go with this one, and this one is is just as cool. Oh, we got to take off uh, this part, of course. Can't do hood on hood, yo. Hood on, hood off. It's badass. The sniper rifle is dope. I mean, just everything is, is tremendous. Best yet is the functionality on this backpack. Could have used a little more paint apps. It's straight up brown, but the fact that you can hold all the skis, the ski slopes, um... And then, of course, these snowshoes fit on the back as well, kind of like we showed with um, Snow Serpent. So that's really cool, except these are going a little different, and they are different if you compare them in shape. Um, so that's, whoop, well, there you go. But uh, I, I was just bragging about the functionality in the backpack came out. But considering all this is on here, this is not on that bad. I wish it was as snug as... Uh, the sniper case for low light, the low light, but overall, just great. Um, you know, I'm gonna replace. I have just a million snipers, night spotters, trackers. You know, we got shooter coming as well, and we we have spirit. And you know, I, I'm. This is a great looking gun for Hasbro, and it's it's yeah. Look at that. I mean, just the best quality of gun I've gone. I think it was in cardboard that it came in with separate cardboard. So really happy with that. Um, but overall, it is worth the deluxe price. Order, <laughs> order that. I mean, even if you like the TAC 50, you'll love it. Uh, there's nice accents to the skis as well. And just the fact that you could fit everything on his person and, and have him ready for patrol. It is one of the best figures they have ever had. It's going to be a tight race between him and the other beard dude. Beard strong, baldy. Between Rock and Roll and Snow Job, I don't know. I'm going to have to go with Snow Job. It is a spoiler alert for my best of the year so far. Um, Harlem Moore is killing it. Perfect five whiskeys. And I bet he wouldn't mind having a few with me. So, look, that's it, guys, for this one. I hope you enjoyed the top seven most recent G.I. Joe classified figures. Of course, go check us out at A Toy Kind of Mood on Instagram. A to add a toy kind of mood on TikTok, add a toy kind of mood on X, and we'll see you in the toy aisle.